Hi and welcome back to Airbrush Ways. I'm Jack and in this video we're going to go through freehand stencils and how to make your own. Uh, the first and obvious one that we can see on the screen here if you go on the interweb you'll be able to pick up stencils that are um, public domain, free to be used and you can download those, um, print them off and use that paper stencil but the thing with the stencil when it's in paper is it doesn't last very long so what we're going to do today is show you the stencil that we've got here which we've printed out, it was a free stencil and we're going to make this into a stencil out of a piece of plastic. So the first thing before we go into that is I'm going to show you the kind of stuff that I'd use if I was making this out of plastic. The first one is one of these plastic binders. Um, so this is what you would have in a clip folder to put stuff into and I'd cut those down and use those for uh, a stencil. The other thing is these are uh, from a vet friend of mine. It's uh, actually an x-ray um, piece of plastic so we can write on that and draw on that and cut out anything we want out of that. Uh, and then the thing that I've got here at the moment is uh, another piece of a folder. This is off a folder, a uh, plastic binder. So it would have had two halves and we would have been able to drop stuff in there and I would also use that and that's what I'm hoping I'm going to use a little bit later. But before we get into that I'm going to show you one that I'd actually cut out a while back and this is out of um, the front of a folder so this would have been hinged here and this would have been a plastic front. On this particular one we cut out two or I cut out two stencils one from there and the other one from there as you can see that's where they fit and with these once I've cut them out I'm going to keep those stencils to use um, whenever I want them but I'm also going to keep the negative if I ever want to use the negative for any kind of airbrush work. So that said this is our particular um, download from the interweb what I'm going to do now is just place this piece of plastic on the top, see if we can get it to fit somewhere. It doesn't really matter when I'm doing this whether I want to fit it all in or not. I could actually uh, bring it down to a certain place and put in whatever we want out of this. So from there I'm now going to get a, a pencil and I'm just going to draw this line it doesn't have to be perfect, you're just making yourself a permanent stencil. It may be that you like this particular style of stencil. There might be curves and lines in this that you've used before uh, as a paper stencil and then you've thought, well actually, rather than keep making these, I'm going to end up making one that I can keep and use on a regular basis. So you see we've just cut that bit off, bring that round there. Okay so with that on there then, we've drawn the stencil that we're going to cut. What I'm going to do is just turn this round because I'll use this piece of white paper now to see where I've drawn on the piece of plastic. I don't know if you're going to pick that up but it doesn't really matter because now all I'm going to do is go around what I've just drawn to make our plastic stencil. Okay, 
Okay, so with that cut out now, I'm just going to take the negative away. And there we have it. That's our plastic stencil made within a few minutes. Uh, you can see that there. And when I'm airbrushing now, I can use this to get these curves and lines, use it any way I want. When I'm finished, just wipe this off and that can be used then again another time. So like I say, different kinds of plastic. It saves you having to use these particular stencils and then once they've been used you throw them away and you print another one out and so on and so on. If you get one that you like and you think oh that's that's worth doing, I'll keep that. You can make yourself a nice plastic stencil, use that and it'll last you a long long time. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm Jack and this is Airbrush Ways. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Uh, hit the subscribe button and at the side of it the icon, the little bell, and that will notify you when we put another video up. Speak to you soon. Thanks very much. Bye.